Fashion File may have sent me some buyout quotes, but how do they compare to other items currently listed on their website? Let's get into it. There was such good dialogue from this video on my buyout quotes from Fashion File, and many of you out there commented on what you've submitted in the past and even the lowball offers they gave you as well. But I know some of you were curious as to say the condition of my items or even how they compared to like items currently listed on their site. Shout out to Dale over on Dale's Addiction for the idea in doing this follow-up and taking my items and quotes and say, comparing them against an item or two currently listed on Fashion File's website. The prices I'll be mentioning in this video are as of this recording in early September 2023. Starting off with the Celine Micro Belt Bag in light taupe that I originally purchased in 2022. When I submitted this to Fashion File, it was for the complete set. So the bag, strap, dust bag, box, original paperwork, packaging, all of the things that in my mind would mean that it is in giftable condition. Well, knowing Fashion File, they would probably look at this and say it's in excellent condition. And while I don't agree with that assessment, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to say that this is in excellent condition. Now, going over to their website and searching for Celine Micro Belt Bag, we see 16 different items or 16 different results. But out of those, only three are in that light taupe color. The first one in very good condition is going for $2,035. The second one also in very good condition is $1,300. And then finally, the third one in excellent condition is going for $2,200. So with this one or kind of my assessment of this bag being in excellent condition means that, yeah, the comparable one would be the other excellent. So we're going to go ahead and check this one out. And right off the bat, I wanted to call attention to that little heart next to the actual name of the bag that has 107 next to it. So on Fashion Files site, you can actually favorite certain items that you want to watch or kind of keep an eye on and it adds them into a list. Well, that 107 tells me that there's still a lot of people that have their eye on this bag because if you go and look at some of their other items, maybe within Celine, but then also across the board at other brands, 107 is actually a pretty good number. There are some very popular Chanel, Dior, Fendi bags that I was looking at earlier that only maybe had a dozen people watching it, maybe a few dozen. So 107 is pretty good. Like we'll take that. Now scrolling down and looking at the condition, again, it mentioned that it was an excellent, but we're gonna open it up to see, well, what exactly does that mean on this item or what other things do we need to keep in mind? There's quite a few things that they have listed here as far as corner wear, creases, structure wear, scratches. So excellent, there's, there's some things to think about there. But looking down at the year, this bag is from 2015. So this actually came from the Phoebe Philo era. And so I, I think that's kind of interesting to note. I'm sure we'll see the accent over the E when we look at some of the pictures. But then what this actually comes with, all right, there's certificate of authenticity, whatever, but it comes with the dust bag and the strap. So this one is not a complete set. Like it doesn't come with the box. Okay, not a big deal, but just something to keep in mind, just something to note. Now looking at the pictures, okay, you can see a little bit of the structure where you can see there's that accent over the E. You can see some markings on the inside. But when you get to the corners, that's where you can really start to see some of that corner wear. And then of course the strap is gonna have just a little bit of a bend in it. Now, okay, so this bag, again, I, I would say, yeah, excellent condition. That's a pretty good assessment on that. And then of course the fact that it is of the Phoebe Philo era, the bag's gonna have a little bit of age on it. Again, nearly eight years old. All things considered, it's actually in pretty good condition, but the belt bag, eight years old, I just, in my opinion, I think that 2200 is a tad on the high side for that. But of course, if you consider that or kind of compare it against today's current retail value or retail price of this item coming in at $2,700, 2200 is actually about 18, 19% below retail. So you could actually get a pretty good deal on this. So using a similar logic or assessment on my bag here, if I were to send this to Fashion File and if they listed it at $2,200, this would be in newer condition. Again, remember from 2022, it would not necessarily have all the wear and tear in comparison to the other excellent bag. And it would be for a complete set because I have the box and the original paperwork. And so coming in, again, if they listed it at 2,200, coming in 18 or 19% below 
current retail pricing, from a buyer's perspective, this would be a really good buy. From Fashion Files perspective, if they bought this from me for $1,100 and then turned around and sold it for $22, they would be doubling their money or making a 50% gross profit margin. Question to my fellow Celine lovers out there. When it comes to Phoebe Philo era designs, would you actually pay more for a tangible bag from that era? Or would you pay a similar amount for say that same design, but just a newer version from the Hedy Slimane era? Let us know in the comment section down below. Moving on to my Chanel Gabrielle that I purchased in 2021. This bag, when I submitted it to Fashion File, was again for the complete set. The bag, authenticity card, dust bag, box, retail tags, camellias, ribbons, all of the things. Again, knowing Fashion File, they're probably gonna say that this is in excellent condition. Now, searching for this bag on Fashion File or really just anywhere is going to be really tricky because Chanel, being Chanel, decided a few years ago to come out with a new size in the medium without kind of, you know, considering some of their other sizes. So they discontinued a large, renamed the existing medium a large, put in this new medium in its place, and it just created a lot of confusion. It's really gonna be a lot easier if you go into that search bar and just type Chanel Gabrielle, and that's what we're gonna do right now and hope for the best. So in doing so, 145 search results. Yeah, definitely way too many. So going and actually filtering this down, we'll look at excellent condition and then we will go with color black 48 okay little better but still way way too many but as you'll notice kind of scrolling through yeah there's some white some cream some navy fashion file work on your filters there really aren't many if any that are actually exactly the same as mine there is this one here in white but yeah, yeah, I can already tell like that's, I mean, clearly it's not the exact same, but I actually clicked into that one earlier and it's missing some of the components, you know, like the box and tags and all that kind of stuff. The closest one, which it's a different material, but the closest one is actually this one right here in patent goat skin. So again, totally different material, but it's the correct medium size. Looking down here at what it comes with, again, everything is included with the authenticity card, dust bag box, retail tags. As far as the condition, opening that up, I don't know what residue marks means, but surface wear on the inside, mine's clean, but whatever. Uh, exterior corner wear and then faint scratches. So there may be some additional little, you know, dings and bumps and whatnot on this one, but this one is probably gonna be the closest throughout Fashion Files website to mine right now. But when it's sitting on its own, I would say this one's just a little bit more on the slouchier side, at least they're along the sides. The interior is a little different, but still fairly clean. There's that dinged base. Now I may be a little partial here, but I do think that mine is just in a little bit better condition than this one, but still this is gonna be the closest kind of comparable one, coming in at $3,620, with 77 people having favorited this one. Just wanted to throw that out there. But with this one in particular, when we think about the current retail price, the Gabrielle was actually discontinued from Chanel. So technically there is no current retail price. So I'm just gonna go kind of based off of when I purchased mine, I wanna say it was like around $5,000. So we're just gonna use that for easy math. So if I were to say purchase this one at 36.20 as a buyer, you know, I you're saving quite a bit off of re retail. If it were around 5,000, that is about a 28% savings from retail, which is pretty good. But considering the quote that I received for 1750 on this, if I sold it to Fashion File and if they ended up listing it and maybe selling it for what this goat skin one is going for, if it went for 3620, that would mean that Fashion File made a 51% gross profit margin on this. Sticking within Chanel, but shifting away from handbags and onto SLGs, this Chanel card holder. I purchased this in 2021, and when I submitted it to Fashion File, it was for the complete set. Authenticity card, dust bag, box, retail tags, the, the camellias and ribbons, all the things. If you go over to their website and you search for Chanel card holder, buckle up, because there's a lot. 246 items to be exact. 
Now I have actually already gone through all the things trying to find another version of an SLG or of a card holder with this type of hardware on it and they do not have a single piece. When this came out, this was a seasonal SLG. I believe that they called this the French New Wave. And so I even did a search for that. Nothing came up on Fashion Files website. Going and actually doing a filter, we're gonna select grays and see what pops up. 10, okay. And of course, looking there, there's, there's nothing that's comparable. If we look at some of these that have more intricate double CCs, so not just that traditional, very tiny little flat CC, but one that has the crystals and the metal and the chains and all the things, there are three in excellent condition that I would say are close or at least would play in the same ballpark as this one that, that I have. So the first one is this one in black at $1,055. The second one is this one in pink coming in at $875. And then this last one, is in beige at $715. So when I received my quote on this one for $450, and I'm gonna go very conservative here. If we were to say, you know, Fashion File gave me $450 for this, and then they turned around and sold it for this beige one here's price at $715, they would only be making a 37% prof gross profit margin. Versus if they were able to Again, pay me $450 for this and then turn around and sell it on the extreme of that $1,055 price point. In that case, they would make a 57% gross profit margin. So nearly a 20 point swing just based on color alone. So here's my question to you all, is that literally when you have two items side by side that are exactly the same, I actually went in and looked at these items, they all offer the exact same thing as far as authenticity, cards, you know, boxes, dust bags, packages, tags, all the things, they're exactly the same, exactly the same, but one of them is $300 more than the other one. Do you pay the premium for a different color or do you err on the side of, well, it's a card holder, I'm gonna go with the one that's less expensive? Let us know in the comment section down below. And lastly, the Louis Vuitton Emily wallet that I purchased in 2021. And when I submitted this to Fashion File, it was for the complete set. So the wallet, the dust bag, box, and all the original paperwork that came with it. Doing a search for Louis Vuitton Emily wallet will bring up 16 different results, but only two match this little beauty right here in the Damier Aben print with the red button. One of them, or actually both of them are in excellent condition, but one of them is $475, the other is $550. I've already gone through both of them. The 475 does not come with the complete set, so the comparable or most comparable one to mine would be the one for $550. So clicking into this one, going and looking at the actual condition. This one does call out some, some different things like edge wear, there are some scuffs, there are some marks on the inside of it, but you know, it's, it's still a, a complete set. Let's take a look at the pictures. So looking at the front of it, I will say that this one on Fashion Files website is like the flap is curling just a little bit more or it looks like it curls a little bit more than mine here but the rest of it i would say is is pretty comparable as far as the exterior they mentioned markings on the inside i don't know that i'm seeing any markings but they exist so thank you for calling that out fashion file it's not until you get to one of the exterior corners that you can see a little bit of wear and tear whereas with mine i don't have any kind of issues, scuff marks, or anything like that. And kind of all in all, I would say it's still pretty comparable to this one right here. But it's important to note that the Emily wallet is currently available from Louis Vuitton. You can go onto their website and purchase a brand new Emily wallet. It retails for $575. Now the kicker or the difference between the two is this little button on the front they did away with this little coating on here. So if you go to their website and just type in Emily, it'll bring up all the Emily wallets. You'll see that all the little buttons are now gold. So if you don't really care about the button, then you may want to go over and just purchase it straight from Louis Vuitton themselves. Because of the price difference going from $575 to $550, it's only a 4% 
increase or a 4% difference there. So not, not that big of a deal in my opinion. I would rather probably go with the newer piece, purchase it from Louis Vuitton themselves. But if you really, really just love the little red button on the front, maybe red's your favorite color, or you just prefer this styling a little bit more, you could go and purchase it through Fashion File. So just wanted to kind of put that out there as just two different options when it comes to this wallet. But in terms of the quote that they gave me, they quoted me $250 for this if I were to accept it and if they were to post it at this comparable price of $550, and they sold it for $550, they would end up making a 55% gross profit margin on this item. All of that to say, it would appear as though Fashion File is trying to achieve around a 50% gross profit margin on these luxury items. And according to some online research, generally speaking, e-commerce sites are trying to strive for anywhere from say 10 to 50% in terms of gross profit margins, which would put Fashion File right there in the mix but on the higher side of things, which begs the question, is this simply just normal business practices for an e-commerce site or is Fashion File in particular lowballing these offers in these buyout quotes in order to then maximize their margins on the back end? In my opinion, a little bit of both, but what are your thoughts on the question? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you're into this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah.